Hi, everybody. Dr. Rafith, Cascadia Dentistry. Uh, second part of two-part series here on osteonecrosis of the jaw, or what we to also tell patients is uh, dead bone disease. So we talked last time about how there's uh, certain patients who are at greater risk for this disease because they take certain medications to um, treat cancer or osteoporosis or osteopenia. So the, the risk in those patients for acquiring dead bone disease as they recover from oral surgery is anywhere between 0.02% and 2%, depending on the research that you see. Uh, what it boils down to is that we're trying to minimize risk as much as possible across the board for any of those patients who, um, you know, might be liable to suffer those troubles with dead bone disease. So we want to focus on prevention from the standpoint of what patients can do on their own and what we focus on doing um, when we have to consider doing oral surgery to treat bone in the jaws. The things that we always want patients to do is keep up on dental prevention by coming in routinely for uh, checkups and hygiene visits, uh, coaching them to disinfect their mouth and prevent diseases from happening in the first place so um, we can minimize the chances of having to go in and, and do treatment. But if a patient is uh, being diagnosed with cancer or osteoporosis and they're preparing to uh, start using these medications that help treat those diseases, uh, we, we want to encourage those patients to um, have a complete examination and form a treatment plan with us to treat any of the um, dental diseases that they have before they start uh, the therapy with those medications that can raise the risk for um, the osteonecrosis of the jaws. Uh, it's important for the patients to um, communicate with their oncologist or their um, doctor who's helping them treat uh, osteoporosis or osteopenia and um, tell them how important it is to um, you know, connect with us as the uh, dental care provider to um, help coordinate the best plan for the patient to minimize their risk. And the things that we do here in the office as we think about um, minimizing risk for our patients is we want to avoid having to treat the bone as much as possible, whether or not we're talking about tooth extractions or treating periodontal disease in a surgical way or doing dental implants. We simply want to help patients avoid treating bone at all, which means that we want to do everything we can to help salvage or repair or renew teeth or anything that we can do to um, prolong uh, the need for any kind of surgery. Uh, there's a bunch of other things that we can cover with the patients um, as far as minimizing risk, but those are the big ones, and I uh, appreciate having a chance to talk to you guys. Thanks. Bye.